Hey there Wastelander, it's McFly back again with another Fallout 76 video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a camp build that can also duel as an adhesive farm. And this time around I decided to do something really different. Normally when I make a camp build I try to do like a music video type edit, but that idea is going out the window this time. Mainly because this camp build comes with a second utility. Let me explain. Through the course of me playing this game, I think, personally, I've made way too many modern house builds, and I'm kind of bored of it. So I want to try more lore-friendly builds, or just builds more outside of my comfort zone, I guess I should say. So this time, I've brought to you a farm, slash farmer's market. Or at least that's the idea I was going for originally, let's talk about it. Starting off, I did set myself a few rules when I was making this build. Rule number one? Well, it, it had to be a farm. And rule number two, it had to be a green farm. The world out here is polluted enough, I don't need to be added to it. I do have Betsy though, and she does cause quite a bit of methane. And by green, I mean clean electricity, so I went with the solar panels from the Daily Ops missions. I got a few of them into a line, and then I would blueprint it, and then just staple it down one at a time in front of each other. And once you get enough in there, you really don't have to worry about power. I also think it's just a cool thing to look at. But when I started this camp build, my main focus point was definitely the crops. They take up enough of your camp budget, so I had to work with them first and then work around that. So if you're dealing with vegetables, I definitely recommend you plant your vegetables first if you plan on like any kind of big structure. We're going to need water purifiers for what we're doing with the crops, so I had to plant enough of them to equal out to enough of the plants. After that, I looked to see how much budget I actually had to work with. So I decided I was going to do like a general store farmer's market. So I just kind of ran with that. I want to say I could have done more with this, but I feel like with the camp budget in this game, we can all say that. There's always more to do in our camp builds. I do like how the shop came out, and I do like how the, the walk-up curbside appeal is for it. I feel like it looks inviting. And luckily there's enough floor decorations that I can actually put stuff on shelves and kind of give the room life. There's two things I really wish I had though, and that would be a proper cash register for the actual shop. And then the other one's just kind of weird for me. I wish we had some kind of like vegetable stall as like a vendor skin. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe one day, maybe like three years from now, who knows. For the wallpaper in here, I did a half split. The top part being the artificial wood panels. And then I used the blue stone for the underneath, almost like a splashback. I feel like it gives the room a little life. And then for the floor, I used the pallet wood floor for more of like a porch. And then on the inside of the shop, I used the White Springs floor set. It's like a marble. It looks really, really nice. I definitely recommend that. And then, yeah, I just tried to fill it with other bits and bobs that I could between like the budget and then looking like more colorful and vibrant. Also, I love the Thanksgiving display. It is great for like a house build, but I, I don't really know how to say this. We need better. Yeah, we need more good looking display cases like this. This is cool, but we need more. After the shop, we actually walk down into the farm, which looks good in my opinion, but once we actually talk about like a fertilizer bomb, you come to find out that this layout is really, really bad. But what can I say? At least it looks nice. And to give the farm more life itself, you guys already know I had my cow Betsy, but I also have my two chickens, Jim and Carrie. They do nothing but create fertilizer, so if anybody needs fertilizer, I'm your guy. And once we walk through the farm, you'll actually make your way to the barn, and I had such a big idea for this, unfortunately the budget did not let me. And here I ended up throwing up all my workbenches and just a couple hay barrels because I had an original idea, but then I realized it wasn't going to fit. But maybe I can stick it in a shelter one day, maybe that's for a future build I guess? My original idea was to do like a mashup of items to look like conveyor belts, almost to make the whole thing look like a shipping warehouse or like a one big assembly line. It was either have a warehouse or a cow, and we all know how that went. Overall, I'm really happy with this build. I had a lot of fun making it. It's been a while since I've done something outside of my like comfort zone, I guess. And even better, the spot for this camp build was really fun because it comes with like a whole back section with like a free rad stag and hide. And then even more, just like a fishing area and like a little camp spot. It's pretty cool to add onto the camp to make it look more lifelike. As if this is actually like a farm, we also do fishing. You know, it's got the whole spiel. So I really appreciate that. And it's right about here up in the forest. It's a really cool location. I definitely recommend for you to check it out. Sometimes there's an NPC here, but I guess I got too close. I don't know. I gotta say, I had a lot of fun with this one. And I want to welcome you all to Adhesive Acres. <laughs> Adhesive Acres. 
Unfortunately, it is not even one acre, but I do love the name. Alright, so you want to make some adhesive. Now, obviously, I could have done way more vegetables than purified water on this build, but it's more of a jumping off point. You all can do as many vegetables as you want, especially if you really want to churn out that much adhesive. But it gets pretty sticky, I'd, I'd definitely warn against it. <laughs> but, first we're gonna have to talk about some vegetable starch. This stuff is awesome, and it's gonna cost you two corn, two mutt fruit, one purified water, and then two tato. You make one of these bad boys, and then you go and scrap it for two adhesive. But please don't run and do that before you do anything. Please go into your perk cards. To maximize your efforts here, you're going to want to put on the green thumb perk card. It's in your perception. And secondly, you want to go over to your luck perk cards, and you want to put on super duper. I definitely recommend a level 3, but you can do it at any level. It just depends how productive you want to be at it. And just a quick couple locations we want to go to when we're looking for these veggies. When it comes to corn, you can pretty much have yourself covered over at the Silva Homestead. It's a single house with a couple ghouls, but in the backyard is a giant farm full of corn. And especially with the Green Thumb Perk card, you can get a lot of corn out of this. For the mutt fruit, um, I personally would recommend that you go to West Tech. For those who know the building well, you'll remember in the middle of the map, there's like that little research center with all the different types of plants. There's quite a few mutt fruit in there, and then you can also grab a couple tato on the side. And lastly, another great location is the General Steakhouse down in the Cranberry Bog. There's quite a few critters here that can cause you a problem, but if you vanquish all of them, in the back you'll find a giant garden. Unfortunately, there's no mutt fruit, but there's a crap ton of corn and tato. And garden gnomes. But once again, I can't stress enough, make sure you have those two perk cards on. Alright, once those two are on, you're just about ready. You can go pick all your vegetables, grab all your water, and then find your cooking station. If you're lucky enough, you'll make a crap ton of these with the super duper perk, and you can just keep churning out adhesive. If you're that far into the settler's reputation bar, you can actually get the vertibomb, and then you can just have fertilizer grenades. And like I said before, I actually did a terrible placement for my vegetables. I definitely recommend you putting them closer together so you can hit them all with the grenade. But other than that, you have a pretty cool looking farm camp, and you can pretty much churn out adhesive whenever you want to. But this is a pretty solid farm, literally and metaphorically. Well, that's probably going to be it for me. I really hope this helped people, especially if they were looking for adhesive. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. A like is always appreciated, and if you want to see more Fallout 76 videos or overall entertainment like this, you can click down there on my channel and work away. As for me, I got a purveyor to visit. I'll catch you out there in the wasteland. Thank you.